Hey y'all, it's Taryn. It is Monday, January 27th. Welcome. I hope y'all had a great couple of weeks. It's just been busy here. Same old, same old. But I did get some stitching done. So I guess we'll look at that. Okay. I started doing this video and my camera's doing weird stuff, so I apologize. I worked on the kids 2019 stockings because yes I'm aware it's 2020 because I'm good that's why um this is obviously the one I'm working on this one is done um and I think this time I got in her arm and leg and now I'm putting in some of the darker details around her face These really don't take all that long if I would just sit and do it. But I've told y'all before, when I start working on something, after about 30 minutes, all I can think about is working on something else. In general, that's how it goes. I worked on Abigail's stocking. Um, last time I had this part of the snowman right here done and then this little stick. <clears throat> so, I got quite a bit done on hers. Um, I always feel all accomplished, and then I look at the whole pattern and realize that I really hardly made a dent. So, I actually started taking pictures so that I can go, okay, yeah, you really did get a lot done. I got the banner done, and this, once it's backstitched, is a big bow, and then the working on the jacket on the other snowman. Not that that gets me anywhere close. <clears throat> I worked on this one. This is one of my new starts from earlier in the year. Um, I think just two or three weeks ago. I don't remember. But I do the roulette wheel every day for what I'm going to stitch on. And I've added a thing in the roulette for my new starts. Um, so if I land on that, I get to spin a wheel for um, that will only have things that I've started so far this year. So this one came up and I finished the sail on the boat and I outlined it so it would show up because the color is really the same as my fabric and got the bulk of the J done. Um, and if you look, I have this part of the J, those waves, the sun, and the little bird, birds. I'm not going to do the outline, I don't think. So I really don't have that much done. I should push ahead so I can get another finish this month. That's what I should do. I've worked on the mystery sampler from Linen and Threads. And I had said before that I hoped to keep up with it. Seriously, I don't think I worked on this at all last week. So the chances of me getting January done in January and keeping up um, is probably already quite diminished. So I don't remember where I was last time. I think I had gotten this done and part of this. But like I said, I really don't remember. So... I've only barely started this one, and it's a pretty big motif, and then the butterfly is pretty big. This has initials in it, like here and here. I'm not going to put the initials in, and then we'll see afterwards if I think that was a mistake, because I can go back and do it later, put different initials or whatever I want, but since I don't know how the whole thing's going to look, I don't know what I want. I worked on this one, for heaven's sakes. The Animal Advent, Advent from Brooks Books. I started this one, I think, a couple years ago. And I am zooming right along. Um, because I start, because I stitch from the side that most nobody does. Um, I just had to start with five and I'll work my way across to one. Um, I've been on this little mouse for about a year, 
if I want to get this done this year, um, I'm going to have to pick up the pace a little bit because I think this time I finished filling in her tutu and I got this part done, which, you know, for this time that was huge, but that's still not going to get me there. Okay, seriously, if I want to get any of the things done on my list of goals for 2020, I'm going to have to pick up the pace <coughs> on every single one of them. Um, out of this book, I'm doing the Liberty Balloon. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. That's just what I call it. It's just called the Liberty. But it's a balloon, so... And I'm only doing this balloon and then in between these two trees. I had thought I would do the two trees here, but I am really I'm, didn't like the way that my leaves and stuff were looking. So I pulled the few I had done out. I haven't pulled the tree out, obviously. Um, since last time, I've outlined the girl and the boxes over here. I finished this woman and her bouquet of roses and I think I just have one line left on the top of the basket for the balloon and I was like whoo look at me I'm gonna get this one done look at everything I just knocked out man I am killing it and then I realized that the bulk of the stitching is in that giant balloon so I should probably be just a little less impressed with myself. <clears throat> and I apologize for looking uh, the way I do. It's the end of the day. It is probably 9 o'clock on Monday night. We haven't been home that long. Um, maybe an hour. So, I am tired. It's been a long day at work, and it shows. I stitched a little bit on Happy Everything. Um, and again, just a little bit because there's just too much going on. <clears throat> and I got uh, finished the R. I had, like, this part of the R before, so I did this and this, and put in all this blue, all that blue. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It's pretty impressive stuff. I really wanted to get a lot more done on that, but um, I had to clean my house. It was, it looked like a tornado had been through it, so I cleaned it. Um, and then Saturday, we noticed that the heater was blowing cold air, so I had called the AC people and they came out today and he turned it on and it works fine. <laughs> he checked to make sure that there wasn't any, a switch going out or something that, you know, might not be making a connection and no, it's fine. So, oh well, right? It figures. But I'd rather have him come out and find nothing wrong and pay for the service call then have something huge wrong. So, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. My new start for last week was this Texas flag. Not complicated at all. There you go. I got a whole lot of nothing. I don't know if you can see the white very good. It's like maybe five rows. Um, and the bulk of the problem is it was going so slow because I was trying to stitch it in hand. And I really don't prefer that. And so I found a little tiny hoop, a little tiny hoop to put it in so that I can actually work on it. But it's week is over, so it'll have to wait unless it comes up in the spin. And then for this week, my new start and... Last week means two weeks ago. This week means last week. <laughs> I just thought y'all should know how I think. Um, I started on this, and I'm not doing the whole thing. Um, 
This is out of cross country stitching. Maybe. Yeah. It says visit us or order online at crosscountrystitching.com. So, I'm thinking that's when it is. I don't see 2007. I was going to say I don't see a date. But I'm doing this right here. So, I'm going to cut it off like that and just do this little I don't know, is that a vignette? And I got a lot of nothing done. I got a bobbin. There you go. I finished the bobbin, and this is the bottom of the sewing machine. Again, I really wanted to get a lot more done. I was enjoying it, and I just didn't have time. I don't like not having time for things I enjoy working on. And that's everything that I stitched on, I believe, through last Saturday. Sunday and today, I'll have to wait until next week. Um, what else has been going on? Um, Ziva, the dog, is doing much better. If you're new here, our dog had a stroke. Um, she's a Rottweiler. In October was it October I think um, she really really wants to stand up she keeps trying her back legs still are not cooperating but um, we got her I had ordered a doggy wheelchair so that came in we got her in it yesterday for just a few minutes. She really doesn't have the strength in her front legs either to be up for very long. We kind of still have to hold her up. Um, but we put her in it for a few minutes. I think once she gets used to it, um, she'll like being able to get around. But it wore her out, which is good because then she tears up the blankets less and all of that. So. She's still coming along. When I put her back feet in the little things to hold them up, they're just like kind of like little stirrups to hold her up, hold them up off the ground, because um, I tightened them around her back feet a little bit so they wouldn't come out. But she can feel that, and she was like kicking her legs, so she has feeling and she has movement. So hopefully, it'll keep improving. But it just take it one day at a time. There's nothing else we can do. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I watched Michelle Rudy first. I was watching Michelle Rudy's um, Flossmas and I'm going to let you into my brain a little bit and it's kind of scary. <laughs> In one of them, she was outside, and one of her dogs ate a rat. And I was like, oh my God, that is so disgusting. How can you stand that? And then I finished watching the video, and I'm going on about my day. And I walk out into our front yard where my neighbors are hunters. And when they dress the deer, they just, they have 15 or 20 acres over there. I don't know. They throw this stuff out there, and one of our dogs goes and drags that stuff home all the time. And so when I walked outside, I was reminded, um, yeah, that's not so gross because there's a deer skin with, there's some hide out in your front yard with an ear sticking up, and it's that way all the time. There is always some piece of a deer in my front yard. So... I have no business thinking eating her out is gross because I live with my own gross. <clears throat> Does anybody else do that or is it just me? That, you know, you go, oh my God, that's disgusting. And then you get a dose of your own reality, <clears throat> which is disgusting. Anyway, I was watching Michelle's latest video and I am so mad at her because she's showing these patterns and I'm freaking writing them down. I don't need more patterns. 
I don't need more kits. I don't need any of it. And then she showed a little snowman and a little round thing with the little fake snow and it was like flat on the back and it was an exclusive at maybe a retreat and I was like that is so cute and she was like I don't know where you can get these things so then I was off on a search and I found some and look because they come apart Right? They're just little plastic ones. And they come apart and the little tie, because you could put backing on here and make it just the half thing like she had. But that's not why I'm mad. Well, I'm mad at her for now I've got these patterns I need to get. But when I found these, I also bought a bunch of other stuff that has nothing to do with stitching or anything. It was just a bunch of crap for around the house that I don't need. Bad Michelle. Because I'm blaming it on her. Um, I am. She made me do it. It's my defense. Kirsten, because I've showed y'all before, where she, um, she draws designs and she likes to zentangle. So most of her designs have... Zentangle in them, but a lady had bought some stickers from her and then wanted another sticker, uh, a custom size Kratos, I think is what this is called. I don't know. Look at this sticker. <laughs> Does anybody need a giant Kratos sticker? Because she couldn't order just one, so she has more. I'll post her uh, Etsy shop in the comments below, but. Look at this thing. I want to know what the lady was doing with it. Seriously. And these are good heavy vinyl stickers. They, they're they not, it's not like paper or anything. They're good stickers, but I just think that's crazy. What do you do with the 23 inch sticker? I think that's how tall it is, 23 inches. Um, <clears throat> in my last video, I put in the com in the description box to ignore everything I said about crochet because I'm a big fat lying liar. I said that I was not going to rip it out. I was going to continue the way I was going and I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. I could not stand it. So I pulled everything out and now I think I'm like a week or so behind because I had to start over. Yeah, I'm 10 days behind. I'm a week and a half behind because I pulled it all out. But I decided to go... Sorry. It's like, where's the highlighter? That's not good. Um, I decided to go with... the low temperature and the high temperature each day because I couldn't stand that, you know, I had a block this big of all the same color and then maybe a line of another one and then another block of all the same color because we've had a pretty mild winter. Um, so I went and pulled it all back out, which of course made a huge mess with the yarn. Um, but then I also got rid of the yellow that wasn't, that was the different color than everything else. And I'm doing it in half double crochets. So this is what I have now. I know. Quit moving, Taryn. Okay, the white at the bottom is just my base. And so here, I'll get all the fringe on. I'm going to have to really, really put in some ends because as you can see, um, a lot of it changes every row. This, this green, it's a dark teal color. I don't know if it's coming across that way. Um, but like these, this all right here with this dark teal and then the pale yellow, this was like freezing 
upper 20s, lower 30s in the morning and in the lower 70s in the afternoon. And you can see just over day after day after day. But And then here it got up in the upper 70s, this dark color here, that darker yellow. I'll see what, uh, 79. This day was 79 for the high, so. Anyway, it's got to quit being this light green because I'm running out. Um, so I may have to go and find, I may have to actually go and buy something as close as I can get to that. But I am so much happier with this where it actually has some difference than I was with the other one that just kept being the same over and over. So, I mean, granted, we're going to get up here and it's going to be like red in the morning and red at night. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be that kind of yellow-orangey color. But um, So I've been working on that. Like I said, I'm still 10 days behind because I'm now playing catch-up. Of course. Of course. I think that's everything. If I was better at this, I would take notes and know what I was going to talk about and all of that. Um, yeah. It looks like, unless I can finish, get something finished, maybe I'll take that June and finish it, even though it has nothing to do with the things I want to get done this year. But right now, because I bought the fabric and some floss for the Quaker piece and a little bit more floss that I bought for something, one strand, one skein that I was missing, Right now, I'm at $2.98 in the positive for January. So if I got something else finished, that would be even better. And then I could buy the things that I added to my list because of Michelle. I have to be strong. I can't handle the enabling. And seriously, I need another pattern like I need a hole in the head. As I tell my kids, need has nothing to do with it. <laughs> when it comes to this stuff, need has nothing to do with it. So, anyway, I guess that's it. I had big hopes about um, getting some stuff FFO'd. I was getting ready to turn my sewing machine on and do some of that yesterday and saw the time and we needed to go get the dog in her wheelchair to take her outside before it got dark. So I never got back out here. So, and that's the way it always goes. There's not going to be much in the morning because we've got to be at the office earlier than usual. So, oh well, it is what it is. Thank you all for your comments, your likes. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate you all. Um, and that's all I've got for now. We will see you here next time. And I hope it will be this next weekend. Fingers crossed. It might be. Dax and Wyatt may have drill. Which will actually be their last one. They're just going to say goodbye. Because um, they're going to leave the guard. I think Dax is actually a little bit sad about it, but same as always, they have some new people in charge in Austin um, that are making a bunch of changes that has cost them a lot of membership, and there's no real reason for the change except for I'm here now and I've got to make changes to make my mark. Um, with the number of people that they've had leaving, the mark's not going to be a pretty one, but nobody asked my opinion. <clears throat> so anyway, this might be the weekend that they go, that they're going to go and, and say goodbye to the guys that they've been drilling with for the last three years. So, if that's the case, I might be able to get some stitching done. 
Anyway, we will see you here next time. Y'all have a great week, and thanks again. Bye, y'all.